Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thor Repairs channel. So today I want to show you my really dirty truck, but also I want to go over whether uh, Ram has fixed the recall on the floor mats. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but the 2019 and 2020 floor mats in the Rams uh the way they were made they had little ridges and they were causing the accelerator pedal to stick down which that's not good obviously so let's check the floor mats out and see if it's been repaired in this uh, year also uh we'll give it a good wash first before we do that but not sure if you guys see my paint protection film video um there's a couple things actually i forgot so I'm taking it back and I'm getting the guy to do two more spots. So right here on my tailgate, you can see how it's dirty. So you can kind of see where the hand marks are. So right in here, I want to make sure if there's any spots that need to be done, I'm going to get them to do in there. But also when I shut it, I'm always scared and I push here. But what I'm going to get them to do is to do this lip right along the top here. So this lip is gonna get done so that I can shut it, slam it. Let's do a demonstration here. So you can see, I'm gonna push up right there. So that my hand touches the paint and you know what? It's gonna get scratched. Another thing I'm gonna get him to do is right here. Look at my truck's dirty. You push on the dirty paint and open it. So I'm gonna get my buddy to do the gas cap cover too. So that's a tip for you guys getting your paint protection film done. Don't forget those two spots. I think they're all actually just as important as uh, any other spot. But uh, let's check out these floor mats. But first, let's go give it a wash. Hey everyone, so I wash my truck, I wash my mats. Uh, so what I like to do at the car wash is I like to pull my mats out and give them a rinse just with uh, just plain water, uh, no real soap or anything like that. Um, and then after I like to use the brush on them and then just give them a rinse after that. Um, but as you can see, even with all of that, with the pressure washer, all that kind of stuff, you can still see there's some dirt sort of staining on these mats. And these mats don't even have a thousand kilometers on them right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, show you guys what I use. It's this right here. It's this Simonize Rubber Revitalizer. So I'll show you how I use that and I'll actually show you guys uh, just quick here how these come out. So you can see they're on these little post tabs. You just pull up on them. And that's it, just like that. And then to put them back in once they're once you're done with them, they just push down like that. But they lock in really well, and you can see here with these mats, they got really good side protection, so you don't need to go out and buy new mats. But um, I know with that recall, a lot of guys were because uh, what you had to do with the driver side. This is the passenger side, but similar was they were making them or the dealer were cutting the ridges out of the mat but then that exposed the carpet underneath so then now you're just going to get water and mud and everything through your mat so i understand why people were getting the new mats but um let's check the driver's side and have a look and see if they have that ribs and see if i need to do the recall so you can see on the driver's side here how dirty this mat is yeah i drove it home and my feet were a bit wet, but you can still see all the dirt in there. So pressure washing definitely doesn't get it all. So we're gonna take this side out, give it a scrubbing. And you can see here in the 2021s, they removed these ridges that went up high up here. So they were up here before. So they fixed the, the issue. So you can see the pedal goes all the way down. Um, yeah, I have adjustable pedals. I'll lower it down here. So these are lowered all the way and you can see how there's a good gap under that pedal there it's not uh, gonna stick down so it's good to see that they resolve that issue so hopefully anybody um, that had that recall gets these types of mats 
installed in their truck so uh, you don't have to go out and buy some some other brands out there but let's take these out and get clean in them okay so it says to apply this stuff when the mats are dry which they are so let's get spraying this on i also have a brush let's get it on the spray and a brush and a rag to wipe it off with So these mats, they're not that bad, but they're already where you can't get them perfect, perfectly clean from a car wash. So I'm gonna spray that on there. Give this a quick scrub into that area. So we're already clean in the other spot. Okay, so this isn't gonna leave a greasy finish either, just so you guys know. Watch out, kitty. So, just spraying on the rest of the mat. And then I'm just gonna wipe it. You can see already, it leaves sort of a matte finish to the mat, get it? But it does, it, it gives it a nice cleaning, but it doesn't give it a greasy, slippery. So this is after both mats have been wiped. As you can see, they look pretty clean. You know, there's obviously gonna be the odd little spot maybe you miss. You know, it is a floor mat in a truck. But you've seen how they were before, straight from the car wash. You can see how the car wash just doesn't quite get the mats. Uh, definitely not as good as this. Uh, you can see on this driver's side map that the recall has been fixed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, watch again, and uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming out. So stay tuned. Thanks.